All right, where do I, where do I want to begin? Should we get into the sports? Let's get into the sports and then we'll get into some more entertainment stuff because you guys want me to be that guy, not you all tagging me in Emi Udaka's update. Emi Udaka. You're probably thinking, Kempar, who the hell's Emi Udaka? Nia Long? Ring a bell? Ring a bell, anyone? Yeah. So Nia Long's estranged fiance. I don't know what the status of their relationship is. I think she's done with him. You know the story. Emi Yudaka apparently had this affair with a coworker. The coworker has been revealed. We've talked all about it. Google Schmoogle Emi Yudaka Kempire and all the videos that I've done on this. I'm not going to rehash all of this because I know you want me to be that guy. All right. You want me to be the sport. You want this to be Kempire ESPN. I wish you luck with that. You, you lucky I know what this what each sport is. This is basketball, right? Yeah. <laughs> I had to think about that. So Emi Udaka was the head coach for the Boston Celtics. He got caught up in this uh, affair situation. Hold on, let me look. Let me. I do so he got caught up in this affair. There was an investigation back in July. Apparently, he only told Nia about this investigation like weeks before it was revealed to us. Not even weeks before. Sorry, nope. Days before, allegedly. Days before. But apparently this was a mutual relationship. So everyone's just shocked why the Boston Celtics said that he would not be the coach for this upcoming season, the 2022-2023 season. Even though he brought the Boston Celtics to the championships and lost. I mean, you win some, you lose some. He, he got them to the championships, though. Well, well, it's not over for Emi Udaka. It might be over for Brett Favre. Because I know every time I bring up Emi Udaka, someone, someone in the comments, why don't you talk about Brett Favre? Because this is not Kempire ESPN. Uh, I, I know you want me to be that guy, but I'm not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the people that have really been keeping up keeping me up <laughs> on this Emi Udaka situation is Shams Shams Karania there we are if I mispronounce y'all know I try okay I really do try okay so this is what um they're reporting for the future of Emi Udaka so he a lot of people are already speculating that he would be done like, he would not be coming back to the Boston Celtics. Well, doesn't look like he will be. Because as you can see from this tweet, his original tweet said, Emi Udaka has emerged as a strong frontrunner to be the next Brooklyn Nets head coach, and the sides have begun discussions. Sources tell The Athletic uh, and Stadium, uh, that's, that's what they were telling them. Okay. Nets are in the midst of their search process and are continuing to do due diligence. Not Kempire Sports. Bunny, don't encourage me. Don't encourage me. Or, or encourage me. Encourage me. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Stop it. So then he retweets this, Shams, and says, The Brooklyn Nets plan to hire Emi Udaka as their new head coach, sources tell the Athletic Stadium. Boston granted the Nets permission to speak to Udaka, and will allow him to leave freely, sources said. This situation in the with the Boston Celtics that must have been so bad, or are they just trying to get rid of him? Well, come on to Brooklyn, Emmy. Come on to Brooklyn. Nia, you coming? I don't I wouldn't blame you if you didn't, Nia. Nia just celebrated a birthday. Happy belated birthday, Nia. Does that make her a Scorpio? Ah, oh, damn. Happy birthday to anyone celebrating a birthday. Not KSPN. You know what, malicious. <laughs> <laughs> so, Emi Yudaka, there is great hope for him. The Brooklyn Nets. How do, okay, men, because there are quite a few men that watch me. Hey, men, sitting next to your wives. Can you, wives, get the information back to me? Is this a good look for Emi, the Brooklyn Nets? How are they doing? Are they doing good? I mean, it's not... The Lakers, it's, it's not the Miami Heat. Look, I'm just talking, th I'm just putting out names there. It's not the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> Look at me knowing things. Are the Chicago Bulls still a thing? Because that was the last time I used to watch on um, basketball. And that was an exciting time to watch Michael Jordan play and Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman, who's on The Surreal Life. I'm not watching it. Don't ask me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I 
I love us for real. <laughs> I love us for real. All right. Let me just say thank you, said you. Let me take this down. Hold on. Let me take this down. Oh, my Lord. We are a mess. But I love it. I love it for us. Let me just take this down. All right. Danielle, thank you so much for the super chat. Danielle says, Kempire Sports. I mean, I probably won't be covering it. If I can hire a sports nista, shout out to Wendy Williams, then we'll get that person to, to handle those things. And they can, they can well verse me on the sports stuff because there's a lot of drama in the sports world too. I just don't like to talk about things that I'm not fully versed on. But then I became really fully versed on the Emi Udaka situation. Go see my latest breakdown on that a few weeks ago that I, that I posted about that investigation and why Amy Udaka was pretty much pushed out because of who he had the affair with and who this person is connected to in regards to previous executives. It was a situation. This is why the Boston Celtics were like, you can go. Okay. But look, if you've worked in corporate America, if you worked for any company where they can just kind of get rid of you like that, all these things come. 